AITA for walking out on my job? I. 29F. Work as a waitress at a restaurant with a point system. It's one point if you are late. Three points to call off with notice. And five points for calling off within four hours of your shift. This is fine with me as I have no points this year and have only called off once since 2018. I'm the type who covers shifts. Stays late and generally just go to do my job. Last week. I ended up calling off and was out for a week due to being hospitalized in the ICU with a horrible infection. I let my boss know at 2 a.m. that I was being sent out by helicopter and kept her informed of everything going on. Today was my first day back. I'm not 100% yet but like many places. We are short-staffed. When I came in today, I opened and got to work. My boss came in two hours later and called me into her office. She informed me I was getting eight points, losing my discounts and bonuses for 90 days, and was on probation. I was dumbfounded and told her I wasn't signing the papers as it was out of my control. She said if I didn't, I would be terminated. I told her not to bother and walked out. I'm now getting calls and texts from her and my co-workers saying they need me and I was an ass for quitting over something so small. My husband thinks I was in the right because it was ridiculous that I was getting punished for almost dying. AITA? NTA. You were so sick that you needed to be airlifted by helicopter and relocated to seek special treatment outside of where you currently live which is well outside of your control. Then you went above and beyond by keeping your boss in the loop the whole time as if your boss were part of your family. Something you should not have had to do. Lastly, as a favor to them, even though you're not 100% better, you still made the effort to come in. And what do they do? They take away your perks and threaten you with termination. Not only are you not the asshole, but you should also be proud of yourself. You stood up for yourself. And it would seem you called their bluff since now they want you back. Do not go back. I have a family member. Cousin. Who is working as a server in a restaurant. Dinner. And I really would love to see them do the same. NTA. You left a toxic environment. And you do not owe those people a thing. Going to the hospital isn't something, small, and shouldn't be punished. I'm glad you're away from boss and co-workers now. NTA. Calling out with notice gets you, points. This just perpetuates people coming to work sick or putting work above their own mental or physical. Health and family. Glad you got out. NTAX 1000. An employer penalizing a staff member in good standing for nearly dying. You were even being considerate enough to communicate during the whole ordeal. Employers keep saying, people don't want to work. But then treating them like they're not people. Your country needs more unions. This should never have happened. NTA. The market is such that you can find another job easily. Do that and don't look back. An employer who would do this to you deserves to be short-staffed. NTA. How are they gonna threaten to fire you then get upset when you quit? Tell your co-workers to quit too. Tell them it's your manager's fault. NTA. That is ridiculous. It's hardly like you had a choice in the matter. Would you go back if the points were waived? NTA. Unfortunately, I think it'd be hard to find a waitress job with a boss who actually cares about you. But you're not ta for leaving. Your co-workers are also off for blaming you. NTA. Where the hell do you live? I got sick the other week and wanted unpaid sick leave and my boss paid me anyway. I'm in house. That's a disgusting situation to be placed in but that's good that you have a husband who sees your 
value and is supporting you not to put up with that shx. You're right you shouldn't be punished for nearly dying. NTA. I'd say YTA. To yourself. If you didn't quit that job. They clearly don't give a F about you or anyone else. Good for you. NTA holy crap what a heartless boss. It's not like you had a history of accruing the penalty points. This was completely outside your control. Sounds like she didn't think you'd call her bluff and now she's short-staffed. Poor baby. Screw her. She don't deserve to have you back. NTA. You were hospitalized in the ICU. With a horrible infection. I let my boss know at 2 a.m. that I was being sent out by helicopter, good lord. Did she want you to show up at work? Along with the nurses and doctors with you on a gurney? She informed me I was getting 8 points. Losing my discounts and bonuses for 90 days. And was on probation. I wasn't signing the papers as it was out of my control. She said if I didn't, I would be terminated. I told her not to bother and walked out. Good for you for walking out on that bullshit. I'm now getting calls and texts from her and my coworkers saying they need me and I was an ass for quitting over something so small. My husband thinks I was in the right because it was ridiculous that I was getting punished for almost dying. Text them back and tell them all to piss off. No reason for you working somewhere and they your boss and co-workers cannot have a little bit of compassion for your health. Your boss is a shitty shitty person along with your shitty ass co-workers. I have worked as a waitress and had a week off because I became ill. I was not bothered by anyone over such things. Good luck to you. Please block those people. NTA. Companies seem confused why people are leaving the service industry. This is why. Find a career at a place that treats you with respect. You deserve it. NTA we also use a point system. But if you're in ICU or the hospital then there are no points. Points are there to change behavior. And so people have consequences for their actions that they have control over not for things that they don't have control over. If this is a corporate store of some kind I'd let upper management know what's going on. NTA, let your local TV news stations know about this. NTA, and they need to shove it. You were in ICU, not at home in bed or of partying. NTA, that workplace sounds hella shitty. She said you would be terminated so you quit. She shouldn't have laid an ultimatum as a bluff. You should be reporting your manager's behavior to owner, higher-ups if there are any. NTA, you'll find another job in no time in this market. Dot and your former employer screwed up. Badly. NTA, something bosses need to understand is that you really can't threaten someone with termination if you're not ready to lose them. NTA and your husband is right. Get everything recorded and start legal action. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.